morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, today we will do a program of double dimensional array and this is in the syllabus of ISC 11. 11th class children, you have not done double dimensional array in class 10 and there are already two videos present on the channel. In today's video end screen and in the description box, I will put the link of those two videos. I would definitely recommend you to watch those two videos to understand the concepts of double dimensional array and that is very important, right? Once you understand the concept of any topic, it will be very easy for you to do the programming. So today's program is to calculate and display the sum of the boundary elements of an array of size 4 by 4. Size can be mentioned, it can be a square matrix, it can be a non-square matrix, right? So suppose this is the sample input. Children, since you are in class 11th, again I am telling you, I know you from class 10th and I know where you make the mistakes. So whenever sample input is given, don't take these values for assignment in the program. This is a sample input. Means suppose the user enters this, then what will be your output, right? So this is not the actual input. This is a sample input. A user can enter any values. So sum of boundary elements. What are the boundary elements in this? This row, this column, this row and this. Right? All of you know what is matrix. Now in array, here when we do, array always starts from zero subscript. Whether it is single dimensional array or double dimensional array. So this is zeroth row, first row, second row, third row. Then this is zeroth column, first column, second column and third column. These are the subscript. Right? Now, is 5 ki subscript kya hai? 0, 0. Is ki kya hai? 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. Similarly, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0. 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. Like this. Right? Hamesha jab bhi hum subscript likhte hai double dimensional array mein. Pehla subscript mein kya aata hai? Row number. Or second subscript mein kya aata hai? Column number. Right? So, ab yaha par double dimensional array mein koi bhi hum calculation karenge. Uska pattern pa karne ki koshish karo. कि किस पैटर्न को हम फॉलो करें तो हमको वो एलिमेंट्स हम एक्सेस कर पाए राइट इफ यू नोटिस हियर व्हिच एलिमेंट्स यू वांट यू वांट द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ जीरोथ रो एंड लास्ट कॉलम लास्ट रो एंड जीरोथ कॉलम अगर इन एलिमेंट्स को हम लिखें तो ये कौन से एलिमेंट्स हैं दीस एलिमेंट्स आर 00 01 02 03 फिर है आपका 10, 20, 30, then 31, 32, 33, then you have 1, 3 and 2, 3. In subscripts पर जो element है उनका हमको सम चाहिए, यही हमारी boundary है, right? सब अब इसमें क्या चीज common है, कौन सा pattern हम देख पा रहे हैं इसमें? तो इसमें आपको row number में क्या मिल रहा है? रो नंबर में या तो 0 है या फिर क्या है 3 है देखो रो नंबर कौन सी है 0 0 ये वाली रो नंबर है या फिर ये रो नंबर 3 है और कॉलम की वैल्यू क्या होनी चाहिए या तो ये 0 होगा या तो 3 होगा सो so, हमारे पास ये हमने इससे पैटर्न ऑब्जर्व किया कि या तो हमारा रो नंबर 0 है या रो नंबर 3 है या फिर कॉलम नंबर 0 है या कॉलम नंबर 3 है तो अगर ऐसी कोई वैल्यू हो जिसमें रो नंबर 0 और 3 हो कॉलम नंबर 0 और 3 हो तो उन एलिमेंट्स को हमको एक्सेस करना है और उनका सम कैलकुलेट करके डिस्प्ले करा देंगे राइट नाउ व्हेन आई विल टेल यू द प्रोग्राम इट विल बी लिटिल मोर क्लियर टू यू राइट नाउ चिल्ड्रन लेट्स स्टार्ट द प्रोग्राम आई हैव टेकन इंपोर्ट java.util.asterisk बिकॉज़ आई वांट टू यूज स्कैनर क्लास फंक्शंस टू इनपुट द एरे एलिमेंट्स राइट देन क्लास में then we have created the scanner object and I have taken int s equals to 0. Why? Because my question says we have to display, we have to calculate the sum of the boundary elements. And children, here I would like to tell you once again that whenever we want to calculate the sum 
always the variable will be initialized by 0 because 0 is additive identity and when you add 0 to any number the value of the number will not change. Similarly if you want to find the product then it has to be initialized by 1. Why? Because 1 is multiplicative identity and the value of the number will not change if you multiply any number by 1. So don't miss this. Don't miss the initialization part. Right? Then we have declared the array. Since it is double dimensional array, so two subscripts you have to give. INT A and two square brackets equals to new INT. Four in first square bracket and four in second square bracket because the array size is given four by four. If array size is three by five, three and five. Always in first subscript how many rows are there that comes and in the second one how many columns are there. Then I have written the print statement to enter the elements and then we have taken nested loop. Children always in double dimensional array nested loop will be used for input because we have a number of rows and a number of columns right. So r equals to 0 r less than 4. Size is 4 I have taken less than 4 because it is starting from 0. So 0 1 2 3 4 times right. So the outer loop how many rows are there 0 1 2 3 4 rows are there. And for each row we have 4 columns 0 1 2 3. So inner loop is also taken C equals to 0 C less than 4 C plus plus. Children again please watch the videos which are given in the end screen of today's video right. Now we want to access the elements which are at the boundary. That portion we can do here within this also. But I will always recommend you to take a separate looping for input, then for processing and finally the printing, right? So again, since we have to check each and every element, whether it is there in the boundary or not. So nested loop will be used, right? So we will take for this again for int r equals to 0, r less than 4, r plus plus and nested loop also inside we will take c equals to 0 c less than 4 c plus plus right i have already told you the logic ki ya to row number 0 ho ya to column number 0 ho ya row number 3 ho ya column number 3 ho so just one condition is sufficient if r is equals to 0 or r is equals to 3 or C is equals to 0 or C is equals to 3. Very simple children. Ya to R ki value 0 hai ya 3 hai. Column ki value 0 hai ya 3 hai. Agar isme se koi bhi condition true hai. That means wo element hamara boundary ka element hai. So what we have to do in that case? S equals to S plus A I J. Ye humne calculate kar liya. और यहाँ पर लूप को क्लोज कर दिया। फर्स्ट टाइम क्या आएगा आपका जीरो और इसकी वैल्यू भी जीरो है। C जीरो मिला और R भी जीरो मिला, वो एलिमेंट आपका ऐड हो गया। नेक्स्ट टाइम R इज़ जीरो, C इज़ वन। अगेन R इज़ जीरो, ये एलिमेंट भी आ गया। देन R इज़ जीरो, C इज़ टू, ये एलिमेंट आया। R इज़ जीरो, C इ C will start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, R is 1. यहाँ पर क्या है? आपका C 0 है. ये condition true हुई, तो ये element आ गया. Next time, R 1 है और C भी 1 हुआ, तो कोई भी condition satisfy नहीं हो रही है, तो ये आपका 15 add नहीं होगा. Similarly, R 1 है, C 2 है, element add नहीं होगा. Then, R is 1 and C is 3. यहाँ पे आपका एलिमेंट ऐड हो जाएगा, राइट चलना? सो द सेम लॉजिक विल बी एप्लिकेबल टू ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ़ द डबल डाइमेंशनल एरे इन दिस केस एंड फाइनली आफ्टर एक्सेक्यूशन ऑफ़ दिस नेस्टेड लूप वी विल गेट द सम ऑफ़ द बाउंड्री एलिमेंट्स सो हियर सिंपली यू कैन प्रिंट प्रिंट स्टेटमेंट boundary elements 
plus s and then you close main and then you close class children i hope this is very easy program just a little bit hard work and definitely you are going to get very very good score in your exams as your half yearly first term exams are also very close right children so children today we wind up here only and please do write your questions in the comment section what you want me to solve and definitely i will try to make the video on that and if you haven't subscribed the channel till now please do subscribe press the bell icon also so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you you may join us on our telegram channel also the link is there in the description box keep practicing keep working hard god bless you children